We're holding at uh, T-minus 40 minutes. You may recall, if you've been with us for the past hour, that uh, there was a line of ice that had formed on the inner tank on the exterior of the core stage where there is a flange. Engineers have uh, taken a long look at that and have come up with a conclusion. They say that um, that ice formed along a line. That ice that formed is essentially uh, air that's being chilled by the tank that gets trapped inside of a crack in the foam, but not the actual tank. So ambient air is basically cryopumped into this uh, crevice in the thermal protection system, which that butterscotch colored thermal protection that you see there is sprayed on. And especially at that seam where you see the inner tank between where it starts to go into a, a cone. In that area, they've had trouble in the past where it's just a stress crack in the foam. And they know this because they can see the offset. If it were a structural crack, uh, one side would be coming out farther than the other. They don't see that. So essentially to the untrained eye, it can look like a crack, but what it actually is, according to the engineers, is air is being sucked in, chilled, and then comes right back out of that foam as vapor. And it appears like it looks like something is leaking when, in fact, it's not. And they have a history of this going back to the space shuttle era, which had an external tank with super chilled propellants in it. They call it cryopumping. Air gets in the void because of the cold temps. Gets super chilled and then vents out. In the meantime, we're awaiting the uh, hydrogen team's plan to go forward and update uh, to the launch director. Standing by for that. We'll have that as soon as they give it. This is Artemis Launch Control.